So about five months ago, my grandpa gave me these uh, leather boots and uh, basically the first time that I wore them, the soles deteriorated underneath of me and they were not usable any longer. Um, several months later, um, after I had you know, set these aside and almost forgot about them, I received a flat tire. So two and two together, I've got new soles for my boots. So the first thing that I did in order to make uh, treads for these boots, um, I had to get these old soles off. That's the sole before I even took a knife to it. So you can see it really just deteriorated underneath of me. So I took a utility knife, scraped off the sole, used a little bit of acetone once I had all this off to clean some of the um, glue that they had used initially to put the sole and the boot together. Then after that, I basically cut up the tire that I had and then I cut the sections about five inches longer than what I needed. That way I could hold on to it and navigate uh, my jigsaw around it. And so as you can see uh, in this picture, there are steel belts running um, parallel to the tread. So make sure when you use the jigsaw that the blade is a steel, uh, it's steel metal blade. So that way uh, you can easily cut that. Don't kid yourself thinking a wood one is gonna work. It won't. I tried. After tracing the boot out, the next thing that I did is I cut small perpendicular pieces to the trace, to the boot trace. Um, that was probably one. Of, that is probably one of the best tips that I can give anyone uh, going to go do this project. So that way, as I cut around uh, the perimeter of this trace, those little parts would fall off, making it considerably easier than for me to navigate the sawzole um, all the way around without too much uh, issue at all. If I had done it trying to uh, one whole piece, I think it would have been more difficult and it might have been a bit dangerous. I've got a video coming up here in just a second, and this is basically just showing uh, what I went through to cut um, some of these pieces off. And in this case, I was just using a small rotar uh, rotary tool um, with a grinder and smoothing out as much of that steel uh, uh, belt that basically running through that, uh, well, that would be the new sole. And one of the things to remember, um, it seems obvious, of course, but please make sure you wear eye protection. When I took my glasses off after I had completed uh, grinding the perimeter of this and making sure it was smooth and no sharp steel was hanging out, um, there were quite a bit of small pieces of metal that were uh, on my glasses. Uh, that black stuff you see there, most of that is actually steel, not the rubber. The rubber actually was pretty resilient. It came on in the big chunks, but those little smaller ones that you see on that chair, those are steel. So, you know, be smart about it. One of the most important things after grinding this is of course with all these little pieces coming around is to make sure you wash the soles before you use the glue. Now the glue that I end up using is called Shugu, S-H-O-E-G-O-O -O, and uh, after you wash this, let it, let it dry for about 40 minutes. Um, I just use standard soap and uh, then you can apply uh, shugu on it. Um, I got the 3.7 fluid ounce. Um, it's probably gonna be just enough for you to use. Um, for these two boots alone, I ended up having to use almost the whole tube. So make sure you get at least that size if you have uh, these large of a foot gear. The shugu um, takes about 48 hours to cure, so I clamped um, not only just in the center, but I clamped around the perimeter of the boots as you see there. In fact, I could only do one boot at a time. I ran out of clamps. The most important part is actually to make sure you clamp around the perimeter, so that way water doesn't leak in and, and seep in there and start breaking everything down. And as of course, as you see, that's the completed project. I just put a couple pieces of tire just to show you kind of where it came from. I've worn these for about three months now, um, on and off the job. It's been a pleasure. It's been nice, of course, to know that you've done it yourself. And it's kind of a novelty to basically wear uh, your tire tread that would have been thrown away, uh, maybe gone to a landfill, and now you can make some good use out of it. Okay, so a quick summary. Once the sole of the boot has been cut, make sure you clean it very well with soap let it dry for about an hour and then apply as much shugu as you can on the sole and on the boot and then sandwich those together uh, with clamps as many as you can keep in mind the perimeter is probably the most important to not allow dirt 
water, uh, oil, anything else that you may be using it for to seep in. Let the glue cure between 48 and 72 hours and have fun.